Here is Newsmax's, formerly of Fox News, Eric Bowling. Did Bowling have a sexual harassment issue? Is that why he had to leave? Yeah. And that's why he's on Newsmax now. And uh, they do this panel here with a person named Michelle Shamika. Uh, the other way. Uh, Shamika, Shamika Michelle. Shamika Michelle, who is a personal empowerment advocate. Oh, that's a real job. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, they're, they're speaking here um, about a report that uh, Rachel Levine, who's at Health and Human Services and is a trans woman, visited a gender affirming care clinic that has used certain gender friendly or er, gender neutral uh, terminology in regards to reproductive health. Um, and so this freak out is going to be totally normal. Joe Biden's transgender health secretary, Dr. Rachel Levine, an admiral, by the way, in the Health and Human Services, recently visited an Alaska gender affirming care clinic, praising them for replacing the word, get this, replacing the word mother for egg producer or carrier. Join me now is personal. Wait, did she, can you pause it? Did she praise, praise that? Did she make any specific claim about it? Or did she visit a clinic that does some of that in their medical terminology? Also, it's a gender affirming care clinic. Like, why? <laughs> like, why? It's not like this is just the law of medicine now. <laughs> yeah. Advocate Shamika Michelle, also here, executive editor for the Common Sense Society, Chris Bedford. Shamika, I mean, first of all, is um, unbelievable that that's our health secretary. But this idea of egg care, you can't say mother anymore. I, I, I'm getting confused. I'm, it's, where are we? Mother where, Christmas. Where the hell are we, Shamika? You know, I guess if we're identifying as egg producers, I should just identify as a chicken from now on. <laughs> you know, I said this about five years ago, and so many people told me I was crazy. This wasn't happening in the United States. And now look at us. This is silly to me. And so what we have done is we have put in place people that 20 years ago would have been locked in an insane asylum. We've put them in prominent positions to completely confuse our children can you pause that? Yeah. so that is answers your earlier question matt right that this is our health and human secretaries services uh, uh hhs secretary um they're just saying that all trans people are mentally ill yeah that we should lock them in uh uh, uh yeah all right um Shamika, you might want to go easy on the like insane people should be locked up and put away. Like, well, what is a personal empowerment? Personal empowering yourself by scamming weak-minded rich people into like having you tell them what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. I think would probably be what I imagine your job is just silly. It's nothing above stupidity. It is idiocy at its finest. Chris Bedford, what about this? I mean, you know, you, you look at China, they're they're building stuff in the South China Sea. They're preparing their military. Russia's doing, you know, obviously fighting, getting really good at it. And we have Admiral Rachel Levine talking about egg producers. Oh, it's embarrassing. It doesn't appear like we're a serious country. At least our country right now is not very serious about defense. These are the sorts of things when our, that our Pentagon is focused on, as opposed to uh, trying to figure out maybe why we lost the last They're... two wars that we were engaged in. She, now... uh, she's not in the Pentagon. She's not in the Pentagon. This is Health and Human Services. Just because she's wearing a uniform has nothing to do with our preparedness for China. Why is she I... not preparing to fight China? Every Everything that has to do with making the country a more inclusive place for trans people is in some way distracting us from building up our military, which is uh, what, four times the next closest uh, military in the world in terms of funding? Yeah, we, just, we need to be more focused on it by making sure that we don't have anybody in the country saying egg producer. I wanna, I, I'm going to do a little research into this Chris Bedford fella, um, this thumb, this guy looks like a thumb, but um, Shamika Michelle has a book uh, that called um, 
Keep it naked, a naked girls with a Z guide to live life authentically. Um, and the, one of the descriptions per Google Books is, uh, are you tired of going through life feeling like a miserable sack of shit? <laughs> are you ready to strip, bare your soul, and live life authentically? If so, if this book is for you. Shamika Michelle has encouraged thousands worldwide to break free of shackles and live transparently. Sounds a little perverted, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Living naked. Mm-hmm. Groomer book. I mean, uh, from my you know very quick gloss of the state of transgender people in China, it looks as if they uh, are coming up into similar um, uh, issues we have with trans people here of like not empowering them uh, with their medicine. <laughs> mm. But are are we empowering them too much culturally? By by at specifically gender affirming clinics, um, where again we don't have a national health service, um, so you know better have the money or the insurance. Um, uh, are we at those specifically gender affirming clinics? Is their language meant to accommodate the uh, people there? <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, insanity, and I mean this is true to this genre of complaint. They hoisted this whole idea on us under the auspices of just live and let live and don't bother other people. How is it any skin off your back if somebody claims to be a woman or an egg producer or whatever they want to call it? But that wasn't actually the end goal here. The end goal was trying to teach it to your children. And this was this was not a gathering of adults. The group he was speaking at uh, was not a group that just tries to talk about gay rights to adults. It was one that preaches the stuff to K through 12 education that tells kindergartners that this is not, or gender is not a real thing. It, it's predatory and it's not just a live and let live thing anymore. Right now it's really a thing that says if you don't accept this predatory mental illness then you're a bigot and it mm. is actually coming for your kids. Right, Shamika, about 30 seconds each for each of you. Sorry, right, but right I here. mean so, a predatory mental illness. If you don't think this is a, imagine that say about gay people, like I mean I don't, I don't know why we well, need to wait. like. wait. Okay. Tell us, it's not getting any better, though. And the more we, We're talking about it ad nauseum here, but the left just calls us, as Chris points out, we're bigoted and, and yes. homophobic. Yeah, I actually think if that's the case, we need to be more homophobic. We need to take it up a notch there because you go, these people have continued to do this because we failed to shame them. We failed to put our feet down and stand As tall personal and say advocates. what we believe without the fear of being canceled. Now is not the time to worry about having friends. It is about linking up with people who have the same values as you and realizing this is a war between good and evil. and. If we don't stand tall, we're uh-huh. going to lose. Right. Chris, yes. Uh, once again, the uh, the question, "What is a woman?" could be responded to with, "Do you believe that demons literally exist mm-hmm. and act on the human population?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good, right? Because she just doubles and triples down there. Um, that's the thing about homophobia. You should ask gay people. Uh, do you think that there was a culture of shame surrounding your sexuality growing up? Especially like maybe if they're 40 or plus years older, see what the answer is. Did they feel that maybe they just didn't feel enough shame? If I had to, uh, if she was a contributor for uh, another black conservative, do you think you could guess who that guy is? Jason Whitlock? Yep, nailed it. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting so good at this dumb part of my job. I would love, I like, she's basically like, I would lo- I want to personally empower people to enter conversion. <laughs> yeah. 